Hey, what's going on, y'all? We are back with another Zero Hour. Tim Loy here with my man, Jeff Hobbs. Today, we've got Jacob Adams joining us on the road to Aries 10, and that's going down next Friday night, July the 8th, from the world-famous Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, Jeff, Jacob's a guy that we've been bragging on here over the course of this year as a, a nice, bright prospect uh, coming up out of that chaos camp, the first fighter uh, to, to fight out of that chaos camp now in a few years. Uh, been very, very happy working with Josh Tate in that gang uh, since we have uh, we've been back to business here and uh, Jacob's uh, definitely been a, a bright spot here on this scene at the, in that middleweight division yeah absolutely it's been exciting uh, hasn't been in a in a boring fight yet uh, for me uh, for me the excitement just comes from because I know Jacob has got his his uh, radar locked in on a title fight and he is doing everything he can. Uh, fighting as often as he can against uh, the right guys, good competition to get him in that title fight. And I love it because he pretty much called it from fight number one that that was his goal. And uh, and here's just another step to uh, get closer to it. Jacob, we're uh, we're in action next Friday. This one is going to be against Xavier Horton. Uh, and uh, Xavier coming out of that, uh, that Georgia region, uh, fighting for the NFC the first uh, couple times, a promotion we're familiar with. Uh, this, for you, is going to be a different build of fighter than what you have seen in your first two goes. Uh, you know, uh, Cole Tucker uh, built pretty similar to yourself. And then uh, the, the last time out uh, – Ah, man, the guy's name escapes me right off, but he was he was Desmond. tall. Desmond, Desmond Hall, yeah, he's a tough dude. Uh, you know, he was he was another uh, taller, uh, rangier guy. Uh, Horton uh, is only five eight, but really compact, strong. Uh, you know, wrestler. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this matchup, man. Uh, this is how did you know? Do you see this as a uh, you know where do, where do you see this as far as the uh, challenges go? Uh, you know, kind of preparing for someone that's got a bit of a different build. That said, Josh Kate built. Uh, you know, similar, uh, you know, as far as uh, his his body style goes, be obviously a good training partner. So uh, I, I got to see some of his Instagram videos and see, like, some of his style at least. And, yeah, he's wrestling heavy. He's definitely wrestling heavy. He has a really good sprawl. And mm. uh, I think it's going to be a very fun fight because I like being on the ground. I have fun down there. And I'm comfortable whether I'm on the bottom or on the top. And – He's going to definitely – I feel like he's definitely going to shoot his shots. He, I mean, his gym's called Team Ground and Pound for a, a reason, you know. Yeah. They got what they got. So uh, I think it'll be a very fun matchup in regards to that aspect of the game. When we spoke to him in his interview, he mentioned, you know, uh, getting to fight in Tennessee for the first time. This will be the first time his he's been opened up uh, <clears throat> rule-wise where, you know, in Georgia they can't ground and pound to the head. Really? Um, until you have three fights. Yeah, you can't ground a pound to the head. They have to wear shin guards. So they're really kind of limited in what they can do in their fights until they have three fights. So he was excited to be able to do ground and pound to the head because he said that's what his, that's what, this is bread and butter. He really wants to be able to do that. And mm -hmm. so he was really excited about being able to show a little bit more than what he's been able to show thus far. Uh, you know, uh, is this a, is this one of those uh, fights where, you know, in the, in the first two fights, I feel like your wrestling was – you know, you were able to lean on your wrestling and, and you had the better wrestling of, of your two opponents. Is this, do you feel like you may have met your match here in the wrestling department? You're going to be able to show up some striking or do you still feel like you can go out here and wrestle with this guy? Well, I think I, I can definitely use my wrestling defense with him. He looks like he has a pretty good sprawl. So if I were going to use some wrestling, it would be against the cage. That's how I feel like that's where my strong suit is in the wrestling department. And then since uh, you, you, as you know, I've had that knee injury in the past, I've been able to work my striking a little bit more since I've been limited in my groundwork. So it'll be fun to uh, definitely try and use the range against a shorter opponent and like use the footwork and whatnot and use my wrestling defense, see if I can keep it standing. And then if it gets to the ground, I'm as comfortable standing as I am on the ground. So I, I'm just looking forward to that side of the fight. So, you know, you're, you're young in this sport, but you, you've got an athletic background. Tell our viewers a little bit about, you know, kind of your athletic background coming, coming up, uh, you know, growing up, uh, you know, wrestling, football, all that kind of stuff. And what made you, you know, direct your attention now to MMA? So the MMA is actually a funny story. But uh, so growing up, I just played football and basketball. And that's pretty much about it. And then uh, 
when football ended in high school, I decided I wanted to do BJJ to lose some weight because I got a little chunky. And so I was like, you know what? I might as well give it a shot. And I ended up losing weight. And then I ended up doing kickboxing because daylight savings happened. And I just accidentally showed up to kickboxing and got beat up. And I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. You know what? I'm going to try it out. And so then that's how I really got into MMA. And then since then, I just fell in love with it. Jeff, what you got from a man, Jacob? <laughs> I'm still just wrapping my head around uh, daylight savings, so I showed up at, at the wrong time. <laughs> I just went ahead ended up having to like get punched and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be a good story. You know, you yeah. take this take this thing further. That'll be a good one to fall back on, the man. You know, uh, Tim puts these fights together, and, and you know, he's looking at. at you know, skill against skill, things like that. I, I, uh, I'm in there doing ring announcing, and what I look for is that pop, man. And uh, you have got a nice little pop from the crowd every time you 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 step in the cage, man. You've got a nice little following. I want to talk to you about. Listen, I, I hear people say, uh, people living vicariously through you know someone else. I think it's great. There's nothing wrong with that. What has your diving into MMA meant for your family, your fans? Because they they're definitely acting like they're enjoying it, uh, and I love it when they live through you, you know, uh, through the guy. Because I do that shit, man. You know, I see uh, somebody doing something that I couldn't do or I never did. Um, hell yeah, I'm living vicariously through them. But how has it been for your family and your friends watching you, uh, you know, go through this process? And how good does it make you feel to actually entertain them? <laughs> It feels absolutely amazing. The fact that I have great friends and a great family and everyone that comes and watches me, it, it means everything to me and to the people that are coming to this fight this uh, upcoming Friday. I'm going to give you guys a show for sure and keep coming because it's, like I said, I'm just going to keep winning for y'all. I mean, it's like, you know, do you have like old high school friends and things like that and that, that come out and it's just, you know, like I said, how cool is it for them? I, yeah, that's something you'd have to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing the fact that they come to it. I feel like I was nice to people in high school, and then, you know. They're paying you back now by, by following you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe that's part of what it is. They're yeah. just great so, people. It's this great hometown that I came from. Yeah, and you're from, uh, where are you from originally? You're from, uh, I want to say, are you Oak from Ridge. Like Oak Ridge? Is yeah, that right? yeah. It's a good community. Everybody there is just, we're all tight. Everybody tight. Is really tight. So, you know, uh, you, you talked about growing up, your football, basketball, uh, you know, not like a lifetime wrestler. Uh, now that you've gotten into MMA, you've had some pretty good success with it. How far are you looking to go with this thing? Are you or is this something that you're still kind of just scratching that competitive itch? Or are you looking to make a run with it, eventually turn pro, see how it goes? Like, where where are you with things? Oh, we're going to make a run for it. This, nice. is, this is just the beginning. Yeah. Only year two in the MMA altogether. We're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep it pushing. I like seeing that dedication and commitment, though, in a, in a young guy that really, uh, like you said, you didn't, you didn't, you weren't like a lifetime wrestler or BJJ guy where it was just like, I'm going to be a fighter. You know, you, you kind of uh, found this after high school, which uh, is, uh, it was awesome. It's refreshing to see. You've been taking on tough competition. Horton's going to be no different. Another tough competitor. Uh, we've talked about uh, the implications with a win here and, uh, you know, what, what what could be next, uh, you know. But at the same time, I see that this fight is at a catch weight of 175. So do you see yourself, uh, you know, going to that welterweight uh, division here? Uh, you know, or is it 180? Is it a situation where, like, you know, we had an opponent fall out, this guy – could do 75 so you're gonna do 75 but you feel better at 85 um well see i'm comfortable with 85 i'm comfortable with 70 i think i'm gonna as an amateur stick to 85 what happened was exactly what you said the guy pulled right when it was announced so to get a fight sometimes you got to make sacrifices so 75 is good for me and then i think when i'm going pro 70 is gonna be it because the 85 pros those guys are killers and they're I big Big 215, but I'd prefer to fight at 70 when I'm doing that. 
Well, we're certainly excited to see it, man. Next Friday night, World Famous Cotton Night Joe. You get your tickets at FighterTicks with an X.com. You can catch the uh, pay per view at CombatCast.tv. Of course, uh, Jake are going to be taking on Xavier Horton in our uh, in our feature bout that night. So uh, we're, we're very excited for it. Jacob, uh, I want to let you give some shout outs where they're due. Any friends, family, training partners, sponsors you want to give some love to, uh, I'll let you have at it. You got a special shout out to Hollywood Josh Kate out there. Oh, yeah. Who, uh, is going to be a uh, tag team grappling on this very card. The the boa, the feather boa is coming out, I've been told. And uh, he's going to set the table for you guys this fight. Yes, sir. So Josh and James Montgomery, those guys are doing the tag team jujitsu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pete Roche, he's also going to do the uh, combat jujitsu in there. Slap grappling, baby. Mm-hmm. And then Johnny Hudson, he's yeah. also heavyweight Muay Thai fight. Tonight, or Chaos th- is in the house. We got the whole team out there. And shout out to everybody coming. Shout out to my family. And shout out to you guys for holding these events because we wouldn't be anywhere without y'all. Hey, one more time, Jacob Adams. Best of luck next week, man. We're really looking forward to seeing you here in one short week. Best of uh, best of skills out there, man. And we will uh, we will definitely be keeping it, uh, an eye on your on your future. Is it? Uh, it looks certainly bright. Thanks a lot, my man. Thank you guys for having me. See you, Jacob. See you guys.